Hello! <laughs> Welcome back to My Lavender Pages. This is Brie. And... <coughs> Excuse me! <coughs> it is allergy season and I am not doing so fabulous. There is a tree in my front yard. A beautiful, beautiful tree. I'll put a picture in here, but... It's a crab apple tree and I am allergic to its blossoms. And so right now I am hating life. And I will not be doing all that great until we get a fantastic windstorm that blows all those blossoms down. Usually happens like mid-April, mid to late April. So I get to suffer for like a month. <laughs> but whatever. Eventually my husband wants to cut that tree down at some point and kind of landscape our front yard a little bit. But that's not going to happen anytime soon. So anyway, we are here. To kind of plan next week um it's gonna be a busy one i started keeping all of my planner gems my planner favorites in a little canvas um tote type thing that i bought from target and it allows me to just kind of keep everything in one place and i can go plan upstairs when my family's watching a movie or i can bring it all back downstairs in one trip while I'm working and kind of have my books with me while I'm working and do stuff like that. So that's what you saw me unload at the beginning of this video. Uh, let me kind of show you how the bullet journal's going. It is like, today is April 6th. So it's day six in this new notebook of mine. And I am loving it. I went in, I don't know if you can see that, but this is a lavender wax seal. I don't have it out anymore, but it's purple. And so I have put this on the front of every single one of my notebooks. Um, so that's right there. And then this says health. And I've been playing around with um, clear pressed flower stickers and lamination. And I made this little bookmark and it stays right up here and it's just kind of cute and fun and it makes me smile when I open it. Here are some of my Coffee Monsters Co. frequently used stickers along with these ones. I use those a lot. My front page, and this part, my colors and the bell schedule, and then my future log is right here. Kind of got some stuff in here and it does go through till July of 2023 because I need to put the school schedule in this fall of 2022 for the rest of the school year 2023. That's why that's there. This is a holiday printable from Plan With B that I printed out and inserted right in here. Um, and I'm just putting hollow stars next to the dates that have passed and these little hollow stars are from my pip sticks subscription that i don't have anymore but have really enjoyed using and then my front page i'm still working on my tip in skills but you can't go back and change the beginning but you can start where you are and change the ending really like that and then here's April. This is the free printable calendar from Sterling Inc. You just have to be part of her Facebook group and she posts these way far in advance. Like I already have May printed out right here and kind of, it's not taped in, but it is tucked in where May should start. And my May Sterling Inc. subscription is on its way. Look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. Okay. So and then this is the little freebie that comes with the subscription kit and then my april calendar we're here on the 6th this is a reminder to send money to australia for my nephew here is our weather tracker i didn't i need to do blue for rain right here and then it is sunny but fairly cold today i mean look there's our high sunshine color there okay 
And then this is a vellum from Sterling Ink Subscription Box. And here is our first day. And this was yesterday. I haven't finished journaling yet. And here is today. And then I have the other half of this vellum right here. I have it laminated. And then I use the vellum post-it notes and a Sharpie and um, put my to-dos on top of it. And I used to print the Sterling Ink post-it notes on these. But I just like how it almost blends into this vellum. And then I just take it off at the end of the day and put the next one on, is what I end up doing. So that is the bullet journal. I'm still figuring out how I wanna do this date and top stuff. I like, I used to kind of do it off to the side, but since the date part on the right hand side is over here. I just kind of have started doing it along the top and I actually like the way it looks better. So I'll probably keep doing that. But yeah, there we go. There's the bullet journal for the first part of April. Let me get my stickers out. Okay. I'm going to put it into the tote and get out the weekly planner. So here's my weekly planner. I did get the pen clip from my Lilliput and I tried to tuck it in here and if I force it, like really push hard, it will fit. But then it like pushes against my tabs over here. And I don't like that. So it gets to stay right up here, tucked in this pocket, which gives it, you know, this little pull up, but I honestly don't mind. And it doesn't affect my writing, which is great. Um, I have, this is my stencil that I use for my pictures. I used, in my Hobonichi, it worked for to-dos but the spacing in the Wonderland versus the spacing in the Hobonichi doesn't line up. But I have a whole bunch of these and I didn't want to throw them away. So I pretty much just use it for this part right here, <laughs> which works. And then I have some stickers from my Pip Sticks collection, the Wonderland thank you card, because I just thought it was so pretty. And then a A6 notebook that I put like my grocery list in it and sometimes I find a quote that I really like. I got this off of the Oscars. I really like that. But I credited it to the person who said it, not the person who quoted it. <clears throat> and then here is my 2022 Coffee Monsters Co. year at a glance that I just I just keep it all tucked in here. And it, it kind of hangs out there. Um, we canceled our Costco membership, so I don't need that anymore. Kind of how that's going. My vision board. I still haven't made macarons yet. We're working on the garden. I just ordered seeds Monday. They'll be here next week. Um, moved self-care kind of a thing. And my steps, I, I, for some reason, I just don't hit 10,000 steps unless I go for a walk, which is really, really hard right now. I'm so tired. I took the business card from Sterling Inc. and made tabs. So um, here is my habit tracker for April. And then this was March's business card right here. So that's why that's there. When I get my May subscription kit, I will probably be using the April business card to make tabs for the April part of this book. But I am really enjoying this. It's super, super simple, quite a bit simpler than my other habit trackers, but it's working and I like it. So it will probably stay around for a while. 
It also gives me an excuse to use my little Coffee Monsters co-stickers in this book, which I usually use them on my dailies, but yeah, this is looking very interesting. I wish I would have done 10 up here and gone down, but it didn't even click for me when I set this up. So next month it will go 10 at the top and go down. And I'll see if I can put some cute washi tape or something right up there to kind of separate them. I got this washi tape in off of Amazon and it's paper tape, meaning it has the paper backing on it, but it has one for every season. So spring, summer, fall, and winter. And I think I'm gonna use them in this book as the seasons change. And I didn't do winter on this part because I used my pip sticks, but I'll be, so here's spring and spring is still in May. And then June is when summer starts. So I will use the June washi tape and my pen bumps up against this right here all the time, but it's washi tape. So it's super flexible and I, oh no, it comes with the territory. So it gets to stay there. And then April, I haven't done my March review yet. So this is what this looks like. You get two sheets of vellum with the subscription kit. So this is vellum, half vellum sheet part three. Yes, half vellum sheet part three. Um, in previous months, I've just used the um, calendar. So like here, here's March right there. So here's April and we've got the vellum here and kind of some of my highlights. This is the sticker that comes on top of the tissue paper for the Sterling Ink subscription. And I love that it's kind of got a metallic pearlescent type look to it. Here's my calendar. We have had, including the 31st of March, we've had six days of overtime in a row. I said, I don't give a crap on Sunday the 3rd and I refused to work and I took the hit for it, which is fine. I knew it would come. So yeah, whatever. Um, here's my spring break, how things kind of went there. And then this is the current week. We are on Wednesday. And then this is another bit of laminate with Claire stickers, pressed flower stickers that I was playing with. And I, you know, put a ribbon on it and it sits here. And it's really pretty and it's fun to look at. So yeah, that's where that came from. On this, I kind of used a combination of Happy Planner stickers from the pressed flower book. Sorry, my allergies are getting to me. And I like how it came out, but it's, it's very busy. So I won't be using those this coming week. I'm just going to stick with my Sterling ink stickers. So this is the week we're going to plan. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get it all planned out and then I'll kind of walk you through what's going on. I have perk in my reusable Starbucks cup and so that's what I'm drinking and I am just gonna get moving and bustling and um, get this taken care of. I do need to pull, I don't think, yeah, see we have Easter Sunday here but because I don't have the emojis, the holiday emojis on my list, I promise, um, I don't have a little emoji to put in my weekly planner. So I'm going to use this little bunny right here. So I'm gonna pull that out so that I have it. Yeah. That will work perfectly. I'm gonna use that little bunny for Easter. Now, I don't give a crap about tax day because we've already paid our taxes. So I'm not gonna worry about that. 
what else? Let me look at my calendar really quick so I see what's going on. Yep, I have a meeting on the 14th. I need to watch my best friend's dogs. Dog. -a. Normal work schedule. Easter. Okay. We are good. So I'm going to put on some music and get planning and let you guys kind of follow along. And then I'll kind of go over everything before I let you go.
morning. There we go. It is a bit cleaner. Yeah, I like that. And then when I get the weather put in at the top, it will look complete. I'm gonna try and fit the weather in right here because I wanted Easter to, to pop. Um, I left this down here blank because my overtime has been done at the end of my shift from nine to 10 o'clock at night because I can't, I can't work any earlier than three unless I absolutely have to. And this part right here is an absolutely have to. It's a meeting. I do it from home. My little guy will be home at that point and it's not that big of a deal. And he can, he can even come down and sit with me if he wanted to. They don't really care as long as you're logged into your computer and listening to what's going on. But yeah, this is a whole lot cleaner. Um, let me kind of just give you an idea of what's going on. Nothing much out of the ordinary. I'm really having fun with my cursive writing, my script. So yeah, I kind of like the way this looks. I don't like the way this M looks, but hey, if that's the only thing that I don't like, I'm doing pretty good. Um, I'm watching my best friend's baby on Monday and Wednesday for while she goes to physical therapy. He is a handful. Like we call him the tornado for a reason. He can go into a room and destroy it completely within two minutes. No exaggeration. He is a tornado. So I am watching him for her on Monday and Wednesday, and then they go out of town. They're saying they're not going to go out of town until Friday. Originally, it was Thursday. They keep changing their mind. I don't know. So I just put it there so that I wouldn't forget. Um, my AJ has her guitar lesson on Wednesday evening. And then Crimes of Dumbledore actually comes out on the 15th because I work. We're not going to go see it till Saturday. And it'll just be me and my husband to start with. Um, my kids, they are six and eight. They love Harry Potter. They love the Fantastic Beast series. We watch it together as a family, the whole thing. But my husband and I always go see it first before we take our kids. So we plan to take our kids um, to go see it, but we want to go see it first so that we can mentally prepare them in case there's anything scary or um, somebody dies. My daughter's very sensitive, that kind of a thing, especially when it comes to animals. And there's always animals in Fantastic Beasts. So she's super, super sensitive when it comes to people and animals and the way they die. Anyway, so there's that. We're going to go see Crimson Dumbledore on Saturday, the 16th. And then the 17th is Easter. And my husband has his normal meetings in the morning at like the crack of dawn, 630 in the morning. Poor guy. And then church is at 1130. So there you go. This is what week number is this? This is week 15 in 2022 so spring break is over we're back to normal life this is an oops i'm just gonna leave it there it's not worth it I'm trying to white it out but yeah here we are welcome to week 15 um sorry my allergies are really getting to me if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of my videos don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll get notifications I try to post these on Fridays. That was before I didn't work on Fridays. So I'm still going to try to post them on Fridays. No promises. <laughs> but yeah. And then I will be doing an unboxing of the May Sterling Ink subscription kit. When it gets here, it is on its way. And yeah, there you go. Hope everybody's having a fantastic April and enjoying spring. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.